Hello guys, so in this lesson we're going to create a new environment, activate the environment and then install the Seaborn module and the dependencies we need and then we're going to move on from there. So there are two ways to create the environment. I'll just show you the first method and we'll have to jump into the command prompt and create that also as well. So the first and easiest method is just to go, uh, go to environment and then to create the environment and make sure it's uh, you select the Python package you want. I'm going to be using Python 3.8 and I'll just call this uh, C version I'm going to call it C version 11 because I'm going to be working with C uh, C born version 11 I'm just going to click on create so uh, Conda is going to create this uh, version environment and it's going to save it in the Conda environment location so once we've done this you're going to see we have a uh, C version 11 and we're going to have 12 packages available right here at the bottom we can actually go and search for uh, packages and check for uh, packages. Already this showing us the installed packages. We can see the updatable and select all and all that Dropbox. So what I'm going to do right now is to just jump through the Anaconda command prompt and then see how we can do that. It's actually uh, acceptable and the uh, you know one of the best ways to kind of like do things, especially when you want to work with the environment. So I'll just jump into my start menu and search for Anaconda PowerShell. This should like you know launch the uh, anaconda shell and what i'm going to do is just make this a bit bigger so we can all see i'll set the font to 28 and don't worry we'll get a little error we'll just go ahead and skip that so what we're going to do right now is to use the conda codes to actually create uh, conda commands to create that so let's say uh, conda create and then we'll use the dash dash name and then we'll pass the name of the environment so let's just say c version 11. Now I'm doing this on purpose. I'm using the same name just to make sure that we actually see that it's there. So it's actually telling us that a Condor environment already exists at this location. It simply means it recognizes and understands that this environment we created already exists. So in case you want to just do that with code, that's how you're going to do it. So it's going to ask us to remove the existing environment. I'm just going to press N for no. So now that we're in this environment, how do we activate the environment. So to activate an environment, we're just going to say conda activate, and then we're just going to say C version 11, just like that. So whenever you activate an environment, you're going to see it uh, come up with these parentheses with the name of the environment. That means that's the active environment we're working right now. So now that we have this uh, environment, let's go ahead and see how we can install dependencies. So right now I need to install a version of Jupyter to this environment and also we ex uh, install XLRD. So I'm just going to say conda install Jupyter notebook and just return that. So this should actually go to the uh, package and then try to you know get that path to install it. So what's going to happen is going to show you the uh, Jupyter with all the uh, dependencies it needs and it tells us the following new packages will be installed. So it's going to install Jupyter uh, Notebook. So let's go ahead and just jump down here and it's going to ask us to proceed. So let's type yes and press the return key so it can do all that installation for us. So I'm just quickly going to pause the video once it's done. We'll just return and continue installing the rest of the dependencies we need. All right, so now that that's done, let's go ahead and install Seaborn and we're going to install the version 11. So what I'm going to say it's conda install Seaborn. I'm going to set the equal sign to 0 0.11.0 just like that and press the return key. So this is going to ensure that we get the uh, version 11. So it's going to ask us if we want to uh, proceed. We're just going to type in yes and press the return key. And after it's done, I'm going to resume the video so we can install the other dependencies we need. Now, another thing I like to point out is sometimes a package understand that it needs other dependencies. For instance, when we're trying to install Seaborn, we can clearly see it's going to in uh, install NumPy, also going to install Pandas, Pill, SciPy, and uh, another installation we need to also do is the XLRD so we can be able to parse Excel uh, documents. So that's just be uh, on the side. But if you want to go ahead and install a specific version, that's fine, but it will try by default to get the versions that are available. For instance, we can see clearly it's trying to install matplotlib 3.3.2 and also it's trying to import NumPy 1.19.1.
so uh, yeah that's just by the side so we'll just wait for this once it's done we're going to install xlrd and then jump into our notebook and then activate our environment and work with that so once that process is done it's going to ask us to proceed we're going to say yes and we're just going to return tap the return key and whoops sorry about that guys <laughs> i was actually uh checking the next line so what we're going to do right now is to install xlrd so we're just going to say conda install xlrd and we'll just hit that return key and wait for that to re uh, install in our virtual environment called uh, c versions 11 just like that and so we're just going to press return and just going to print uh, yes and just wait for that to be done so that's actually installed and that's done so this is going to be the um, dependencies we need so we've installed uh, pandas numpy and we've also imp uh, installed matplotlib and we've also uh, installed seaborn so by installing seaborn it installed the other uh, dependencies so let's go ahead and see uh, how we can uh, run this within our environment. So this is our environment right now. We're in C versions 11. And if we just scroll down and let's see if we have that version of uh, Seaborn right here. So uh, we're just gonna click on installed and we're gonna search for the packages we want. And let's just scroll. And right here we can see we have uh, Seaborn, which is the statistical data visualization. We have version 11. And then we can see we have the other uh, dependencies and packages you know that are available so it's just telling us that but just know that we have a uh, seaborn and let's search for uh, uh, let's search for xlrd we actually have uh, wx so we have xlrd and let's scroll down to uh, p that's pa so we actually have pandas installed and this is the uh, environment we're working on. If you've created this environment and you click on your start menu, you're going to actually see the Jupyter Notebook specific environment for that uh, environment you've created. So we have one for Seaborn env and then we have C version 11, which is the environment we've created. So uh, each time you want to work with your specific environment, you can just set that environment. So if you go back to our home view, we can actually see that we're on the C version 11 environment we have Jupyter Notebook. So I'm just going ahead and launch this environment and we'll test our code and see. I'll just click on launch, just like that, to launch this. So I've gone ahead and launched the environment and I'm just going to run the cell and run our matplotlib inline and run this. And uh, whenever you see the kernel turn to black, it means that kernel is busy. So we're just going to give it a little while. If this is the uh, first time you're running it, matplotlib sometimes has to, uh, Jupyter Notebook has to, you know, kind of like reinstall and rerun some of the fonts. So you might get a uh, warning. But if you don't have that warning, that's totally fine. It means that's uh, working well. So if we loaded the uh, Penguin's data set, and let's go ahead and see if our this plot is kind of working. So we can see how this plot works which means you have the uh, Seavon version 11 installed and you're kind of like, you know, super good to go if you check out environment and you can see what packages you have. This is the base root. It's not a nice idea to always install in your base root. You can always create a virtual environment and run that uh, virtual environment. So once you're done running a virtual environment to exit the virtual environment, we just use the keyword conda deactivate and uh, let's just quickly uh, see that in action because the best way to kind of like you know uh, run this all right so uh, to activate our environment I'm just gonna say uh, let's just maximize this a bit make it bigger let's say uh, 24 so I'm just gonna say uh, conda activate and let's just call that uh, C verse 11. I think let's let me just go ahead and look at that. Okay, C version 11. So let's just see VC version C version 11. Like so, this shows that this uh, is activated. So to deactivate that, if I'm done, I'm just going to say conda a space and I'm going to say deactivate. and C version 11. So I'm back to my uh, base uh, 
directory, which is my uh, PC user's directory. So that's how we can uh, deactivate. If you want to have a, a quick uh, look at some of these commands in case you know, uh, you're know you going to forget, let me just go ahead and show you. So there's a uh, cheat sheet from the Condor website. You can actually have this cheat sheet and I'll include the cheat sheet in this chapter section. And basically the cheat sheet is just going to show you the um, commands you can use very quick commands like if you want to find out the information if you want to update anaconda how you can create an environment how you can deactivate an environment like we just saw how you can list all the packages in an environment just a quick uh, cheat sheet you can print this out and have it next to you so you can always you know reference it in case you uh, forget another last thing i'd like to point out is if you open your system command line and you type uh, where conda this should show you the path where Anaconda is installed. In case you don't see this, you need to manually set your path. So to set your path manually, I'll just show you how you could do that. So the first thing is to search for uh, environment variables. So I'll just click on the environment uh, variables and click on environment variables right here. And then right here, when it says, uh, where it says path, you can click on the edit. So what you're going to do right here is to create a new, let's go to new, and then we'll paste in that uh, path. So this is the path to the Anaconda scripts. So you could just paste this right here. If you do that, you, you paste that for the scripts and also for the uh, bin. So where do I get that path in case you kind of typed Conda and you could not find this information, right? You couldn't find where this is. So this is where my own Anaconda is installed. I'll just quickly uh, do a run through of that. So if I open this, I'll go to my drive C and I'll go to a folder called program data. And right here where it says Anaconda tree, I'll just go to the scripts folder and then click on the scripts right here and then copy that. Then we can now go to our environment to edit the system environment variables. And then right here where it says path, we could just go to edit and we'll create a new path and then paste that path right there. So each time you're running or trying to run a command from your command line that involves Anaconda or Conda, it actually knows where to find this. You will do this for the scripts and you also do the same thing for the bin. The bin is also in the same location. If you go back to Anaconda and see bin, we can actually do that for the Anaconda bin and then go to environment system variables and then click on the uh, oops it's actually uh, it actually opened up because it's already open so right here where it says the path we can add the path and click on new and we just paste this and then click add so i already have the anaconda bin let me just look at that i already have my anaconda 3 path in my bin i'll just click on this and just set that and click ok so hopefully if you type uh where conda it should show you where Anaconda is. And if I type a command as where Python, it should show me where my uh, Python installations are. I have two uh, versions of Python. So it's showing me the uh, Python I installed from the Python website and then the Anaconda Python execution. So uh, thank you very much for watching guys. You know, uh, if this is uh, confusing, I'm really sorry. Sometimes the Windows system can behave weirdly and you have to set these things manually so you can be up to speed and know how to update. So hopefully, I hope you understand how to create a new environment, how to deactivate uh, an environment. And remember, you can always check out the uh, cheat sheet on the uh, Pandas uh, site. I'll also leave a link to the uh, PDF document for the cheat sheet and also the link where you can get the Conda cheat sheet in case it's been updated. So once again, thank you very guys for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson where we will begin working, continue working with our distribution plots.